Hello mga kabayan, marami nagtatanong kung kaya ba nagpapasikat si Orme is may ambition siya na maging presidente ng Pilipinas. Ilang beses na rin siyang tinanong tungkol dito at may mga times na sinagot niya yung tanong na yun. Pero marami pa rin hindi naniniwala do sa sagot niya. Ilang beses na niyang sinabi na malayo pa sa isip niya ang pagiging presidente. Dahil nagpo-focus siya doon sa mga trabaho na kinakailangan niyang gawin sa Maynila. Pero merong isang video na napanood ko na sa isang sadlit talagang naramdaman ko na wala sa retirement plan niya ang pagiging presidente. Pero meron pa rin iba na nagsasabi lalo na yung mga bashers na nagpapasikat lang siya. dahil gusto niya maging presidente at meron ding iba na mga sumusuporta kay Yorme kagaya ko na nangangarap na gusto siyang ipush para maging presidente balang araw para sa akin masaya na ako dun sa ginagawa niya sa Manila at pangarap ko na sana lahat ng mga plano niya sa Manila ay maisa katuparan niya at Ko ano man yung balak niya after nung term niya ay nirerespeto ko. Panoorin po natin yung mga panahon na natanong si Yorme tungkol do sa pagka-presidente. Kung gusto ba niya maging presidente at dun sa part na talagang pinakita niya or sinagot niya even though hindi tinatanong sa kanya directly kung gusto niya maging presidente. Meron isang uh, video na sinabi niya kung ano yung retirement plan niya at kung anong edad niya gustong magretiro from politics. Panoorin po natin tong compilation na to. Without much ado, ladies and gentlemen, the pride of Tondo High School, ang mayor ng Maynila, the future president of the Philippines, Francisco Isco Moreno! Yari nga sa ni. Hindi <laughs> po totoo yun, ha? Ako, Diyos ko, delikado yan. Anyway, uh, una, nagbabayad pa lang ako ng utang na loob sa inyo. Dahil kung di sa tondo, hindi ako magiging kusihal. Kung di sa tondo at taga Maynila, hindi ako magiging vice mayor. Kung di sa tundot sa Maynila, hindi naman ako magiging mayor. Eh sa dami ng suliranin ng ating lungsod. Guro, unfair, na wala pa tayong nagagawa, eh iiwanan ko na kayo. Mama! Bagay, libre naman mangarap. Pero bago ko intindihin ang mga yan, Mga bagay na yan, natutuwa ko sa kagustuhan ninyo, pero hayaan nyo muna magtrabaho ako para sa mga kababayan natin sa Luso. Pero ito, Mayor, is De La Salle University. Yan kasi yung bala kong karirin. Kukirawa. Turo. <laughs> Retirement plan. I'll retire at the age of 50. Pwede pag pinaparitan. <laughs> so, uh, mayor... Uh, 50, 55. Uh, I've been working kasi since 10 years old. Well, oh, yeah. 50, do you have a PhD program? Uh, the problem with my teacher, wala MBA, wala PhD. That's why UP was... was open siya. In such a way, there is... Executive program, yeah. executive program. Don't know how to get guest lecturer. Yeah. Yes, please. Magandang hapon po, Mayor. Ako po si Bettina Star and Bonaventura ng Baitang Lima, St. Lioba. Nakikita ko po na may mabuting katangian po kayo ng isang mabuting leader. Kung may pagkakataon po kayong mapili na maging presidente ng Pilipinas. Na 
Nais niyo po bang tanggapin ang pagka-presidente ng Pilipinas? One, ang pangarap ko'y maging kapitan ng barko. I'm just trying to be honest. Very simple. 1980s, squatter, tundo, pagbabae ka, para yumaman ka, pumunta ka ng Japan. Six months lang, bato na bahay mo. This is the mindset, ha? I have nothing against with people of what they have done in life. Uh, we have skeletons in our uh, cabinet. But this is now uh, a real talk. Babae ka, hindi ka doon chenta, squatter, punta ka Japan, yayaman ka. Pag lalaki ka, mag-Saudi ka. Maglagay ka ng bigote, baka magahasa ka sa Saudi. That's how they say it at the time. I have nothing against them, but that's how they do it. Or magsiman ka, dahil gusto ko magisiman. Pero hindi ako magigisiman kung hindi ako mag-aaral. So from the beginning, my dream is to be a ship captain. At faith intervene sa awa ng Diyos, pwede pala akong mag-artista. Then, I felt so blessed. Sabi ko, why not in return do some public service if I could only chase one person? <laughs> Minimum guarantee ko nun. Isa lang. But uh, that uh, rest of the history. No? But uh, I became vice mayor. Nung nandun na ako, gusto ko na maging mayor. Hindi talaga. Para para Kumbaga, it was not planned because of the nature of job or field, naturally, natural, may progression yung dream. Tama? Kaya, bagay na hindi nyo mapapansin, I'm really trying to offer myself physically, health-wise, mental, experience, academic, even the persuasive power attached to it, utilizing it to make Manila better Manila with the help of our fellow 11,000 employees. That's why I'm trying to move heaven and earth today. You know why? Because whether they like it or not, I am now part of history. Saan ka nakakita? Basurero lang ako. Pwede pa lang maging mayor. So, Having said that, will I wish to become a president? I don't know. Why? I don't know yet. Will I qualify as a president? My answer is no. Why? Wala pa naman akong ginagawa sa Manila. Will I use my fame? Take advantage of it? Because you're popular? I think a lot of person did that already. And when they became... Or... Nung nandun na sila sa position na yun, hindi nila na-manage yung bansa. And people will pay. People will suffer. Will I be part of the suffering? No, kaya nga from the beginning eh. Hindi mo napansin, I want to pay it forward. So you really wanted to change things. So that's my purpose. Makaangat na ako. Yadba naman ako sa utaw. Maglingkod naman ako. Yun ang, yun ang, no. Anong, you ask me about, Oh, what will you do with the West Philippine Sea? Ha? Manila Bay lang alam ko eh. <laughs> Because I really wanted to be fair with you guys. I know maybe you're frustrated already. Am I qualified? I don't know. I think not yet. Because what I'm doing here is just basic governance. Well, if there's one good thing, thank you very much. A lot of uh, LGU is doing what we're doing here. Well, that's supposed to be. Because where Manila goes, the country follows. 
That was a saying before in the 60s. But I'm grateful. The mere fact it's been two months and ten days, you're now considering me for presidency. <laughs> and I cannot blame you. Uh, you don't understand yet the veracity of that question. But I am grateful. I'm honest. I, I, I appreciate it. Uh, it's just that uh, uh, I'll cross the bridge when I get there. But for the meantime, I think I owe it to you. How old are you? Nine. I think I owe it to you. I owe it to you to have a better government, the city government of Manila, to have a better community, peaceful, safe, environmentally friendly. I, 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 owe, I, owe, I owe you that much. Kaya nga, talagang we're trying to move heaven and earth uh, to offer better things for the people of Manila and to those people who will visit Manila 1.2 million of them because 1.8 million will sleep tonight in the city of Manila and tomorrow morning that 1.8 million will add there will be new numbers who will visit about 1.2 that's 3 million people that I'm going to manage day in and they are so, before I talk about politics uh, or, or aspire for a better, uh, bigger position, uh, I think, harapin ko muna, eh, yun yung muna kong payo kanina sa inyo, di ba? Harapin ko muna kung ano meron ngayon. Dahil kung kapangyarihan lang, ay mas makapangyarihan ng presidente kaysa sa mayor ng Maynila. Kung ang pagnanasa ang gagawin mo, eh, yun ang nasain ko. Pero dyan na marami nagkamali sa sobrang pagnanasa dahil walang kabubusugan. Kapag ka walang kabubusugan, ang kabubusugan hindi lang yung pagkain, ha? hindi lang yung salpi, pati kapangyarihan. May mga taong matatakaw sa kapangyarihan. Kaya nga kung bakit pati asawa niya, Anak niya, asawa niya sa labas, anak niya sa labas. Apo. Yung apo, nagka-apo. Lahat sila nasa gobyerno. Sa. But, you know, can we do something about it? Yes, next election. Can we do something about it? Yes, you have to discern. You have to distinguish. You have to understand. Ayan. Now, kaya... Yang bagay na yan, hindi ko yan, never ko yang inisip. But, historically, that's why there was a, a clamor, not only by a nine-year-old today, there was a clamor in social media. And Did you know that I have a poster in Cavite? <laughs> Do you know that? I have a poster there greeting Happy Fiesta. I'm not even the mayor of that town. So there was a there is now a clamor of whatever it is, no? But I swear to God, since July 1, what I've been doing, what we have been doing has nothing to do with 2022. It's all about the chaos, the problems, and challenges of the city of Manila that we are facing and the people of Manila is suffering. That's why they kick them out, all of them, outside of public office. And I think that is more than statement of facts, of frustration of the people of Manila. All, as in literally all, was kicked out of public office. And that is more than enough to get our attention on addressing the situation of Manila and the goals and dreams and aspiration of the people of Manila. So I would rather be busy here attending to it and as I have said, kukulitin ko, I will try, I will try, I will try 
Hindi ako mapapagod. Gagahasain ko ang katawan ko. Metaphorically. Uh, I will utilize my youth that kind of edge that we have bilang bata uh, to may have a better Manila. And I was fortunate enough listening to a comment that governance is about orchestra. Yes. And it's being said every day, every week to my fellow public servant that, that my dream of Manila is literal. And I swear to God, literal. I've been saying that every week to create an orchestra. An orchestra composed of different instruments. Playing one song or music in harmony. Being conducted by one. So that there will be order, directions, or direction for the city of Manila. Now, to cut the long answer, <laughs> I am going to teach after mayorship. Yes. I am going to teach. That is my retirement plan. <laughs> I'm going to teach some things written in the book, something that I have learned in life, and something that I have experienced in governance. So if I can share that, so that others, at the very least, will be guided, it's not even a guarantee that it's the correct solution to every problem, but within the striking distance of approaching problems. So, hindi pa. Tingnan natin. Let's play it by ear. Huh? But thank you, huh? For a nine-year-old, uh, Julius, huh? Nine-year-old. Taman tama, by nine years you'll be 18. Then you can participate and practice your right to suffrage. By then. Maraming salamat po. Okay.